Josh, start of a new season, always yeah. an exciting time for the, the fans and the players too, especially when there have been so many changes. Yeah, um, all the lads are, obviously all the new lads are excited to get going as well as the older lads and we've um, welcomed them um, and had a good pre-season in Royal Belts, so yeah, we're ready to go. What's it like from a player's perspective when you come back? I think there were 12 departures, 11 new signings. Is it, is it almost like joining a new club? Um, in a way, yeah, but obviously the, a lot of the big characters kind of stayed around. So obviously new players coming in, they just settle quite easily with the lads that are already here and just get, get to business. If you look at last season and fans and everybody else always use that as a barometer for, for what you're going to build on. Ninth, but, but so close to a playoff place, only five points away from, from, uh, from promotion. Yeah. And you're not that far away. And there's plenty to build on and plenty to be, to be sort of, you know, really hopeful for, for the season ahead. Yeah, I think everyone last year was very disappointed that we didn't make it into the automatics because I think it was well within our reach um, and then it was just like a battle to, to make playoffs and see what happened and unfortunately we didn't um, so I think this year will be a bit more of a we need to get automatic this year because of what we did last year. I mean last year's gone but how frustrating was it that you were so close and it, it, it kind of petered out your form towards the end of the campaign? It was very frustrating but you can't, sometimes you can't do anything, it's football um, just need to carry on every, by, uh, game by game and just try and pick up the points and see where, it's, see where it leaves you at the end of the season. And what's the pre-season been like for you? Yeah, it's been good, it's been tough. Um, I think it shocked a few of the new lads of uh, Hodges pre-season but everyone's worked hard and got a bunch of lads so we're ready to go. You say tough, give us a, a, a bit of insight into the sort of stuff you've been doing since you returned. Um, so we've just had like a quite a tough footballing session with running after um, then we'll have our lunch and stuff and then be in the gym and that kind of takes out you yeah, and then you'll go again next day with running and training sessions and, and stuff like that so it's just a, bit, a lot of load a lot of load in pre-season which you need to maintain yourself and stay fit throughout the season because it's the old football adage that, that you get your fitness in pre-season and, and if you don't get that if you can't do the pre-season playing catch-up is tricky yeah yeah this pre-season is kind of to build your foundation and build your muscles so you can last the full season um, and thankfully well hopefully everyone's done that this year and we don't get too many injuries going through the season so we've got a full squad. So tell us your thoughts on the season ahead uh, and obviously it's a it's a marathon a sprint not a sprint a, that football cliche but yeah. but getting off to a good start can can be a real confidence booster can't it? Yeah any any f football player will tell you they want to win the first 10 games, 20 games and whatever. Um, sometimes you have to be realistic and go game by game and obviously we'll be raring to go, getting ready to try and win as many games as possible in early doors. Yeah, and, and looking at, uh, at the new signings and, and you know, plenty of, uh, of, of central defenders in there as well. Yeah. Um, there's, there's confidence in terms of if you look at, at the profile of, of the players that have been brought in and, and people like, like Josh Turnbull and, and what he's done and the promotions he's achieved. Yeah, yeah. It's, sometimes you can't really look too much into that because each individual plays different with different styles and stuff, but the way the Gaff LC wants us to play this year, he, he's brought the personnel in to, to suit that and accommodate us going forward. So I think all the players that we've got in at the minute are well suited to how we want to play. And, ready to go. Listen to what Mickey's had to say uh, pre-season after some of the interviews. Sounds as though he's, he, he wants to play a, a, a bit of a more expansive style. Yeah, I think from day one in pre-season we've kind of adopted a certain shape and stuff um, and how he wants us to play. He wants us to play a bit more free, freely and free-throwing football. So hopefully we bring that into the season and it's enjoyable for the fans and we get, we get the points on the board. It's easier said than done, but from yeah. your perspective individually, that sounds as though that will suit you down to the ground. Yeah, yeah, definitely really enjoy it, um, especially playing out on the, out on the wing. It'll, it'll be nice to be up and down a bit more, uh, have a bit more freedom to go and join in in the box and, and stuff like that. I know we've got the protection behind and stuff like that, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. 
And how important starting the season with a home game? Of course, you 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 get what you're given, but but uh, to start the season at Prenton Park and, and the Super White Army in full voice. Yeah, I think it's kind of one of the things you're waiting for while you're in pre-season to see where your first picture is. And I don't think anyone in this league would want to come to Prenton for the first game. So we're we're all excited and we're up for the up for the fire. And Stevenage, uh, they only escaped relegation by the skin of the teeth, so uh, on form, it looks like a home banker, but uh, if only football was that simple. Yeah, you can't look at it like the season's done, they would have brought in new players as well and stuff and changed the system and stuff like that, so the first kind of couple of games is kind of a it's kind of guessing game to predict what they're going to do, so um, obviously we'll prepare to do play a certain way and if we need to tweak that within the game and stuff, then so be it, but we're, we're there to try and get the three points. So. Final one for me, how excited are you by, by what lies ahead? I'm very excited, I think the club's only going forward um, and obviously you want to be moving with that, so yeah, I'm very excited to see, see what happens.